Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video we are going to do another horse battle. This time we're actually going to do probably two of the biggest horses in the game. We're going to do the Ardens versus the Shire. Um, the Shire is probably the biggest horse. Yeah, it's actually the biggest horse, you know. It's a very big horse. Definitely recommend you check him out because it's a pretty cool horse as well. Um, I used him quite a lot in the epilogues. Um, overall a very cool horse. Definitely check him out. But first we're going to do the Ardens and I'm using the Strawberry Rowan for this one. Because that's the best Ardens there is. Um, again, you can go with the pre-order version, but I don't have you anymore. Mine is actually gone, I don't know why. But, yeah, I'm using the Strawberry Ronin. So the Strawberry Ronin is a war type with standard handling. And his stats are 7 health, 5 stamina, 3 speed and 3 acceleration. And you can buy him for around $450 at the Van Horn stable after chapter 6. Again, if you have a better Hana system or a better Hana, you can definitely pick it up a lot cheaper. And I think... Especially after chapter 6, around the epilogue somewhere, um, $450 is not that much, so you can definitely pick it up, because it's a pretty cool horse. As you can see right here, I did some, uh, actually fell off, but a lot of you guys requested this, so I'm going to do a level 4 now. So yeah, the horses are all level 4 for you guys. Um, so yeah, pretty cool overall, as you can see, I'm doing some level 4 tricks right here. You see that, so they're all pretty level 4, so which is... Which is better. Um, so overall the Shire or the Ardens is probably a very good horse. You know, it's a decent horse uh, in stats wise as well. The Ardens is better than the Shire, but we're gonna check the Shire out as well. So the Shire, here we are with the Dark Bay Shire actually. Uh, it's not a Raven Black, I don't have the Raven Black. So I decided to go with the Dark Bay because I kind of I like this one a lot as well. Um, but the Shire in general is a very cool breed, definitely check him out if you don't have him already. It looks cool, it's very big um, as you can see right here. It's the biggest horse in the game actually. So yeah, pretty cool overall, as you can see it's very big. <laughs> so the coat is called the Dark Bay Coat and he's a draft type with standard handling or with heavy handling actually. Um, and his stats are actually 4 health, 3 stamina, 3 speed and 2 acceleration. And you can find this, well, just anywhere actually. You just have to go to a city or to a, to a town where they pull carriages or wagons or stuff like that. And that's mostly if they're like the big wagons, mostly the Shires pull that. Um, mostly there's a white and a dark bay one or a light gray and a dark bay one. Um, but as you can see, the Shire is a very cool horse. I definitely recommend this horse to anyone. Okay, so round one, again, the stamina, we're gonna see which one actually comes out on top. Um, normally, they have pretty much the same, this, the Arden is 5 in stats wise, but again, these are level 4 horses, so they go up as well, as you can see. They're pretty cool overall, so we're just gonna see which one wins, um, and I'll talk to you then. As you can see, the Shire is definitely struggling to keep up. His stamina is almost gone. I'm seeing the Ardens, but the Ardens they still have that little bolt left. Um, so I think the Shire is a little bit lesser in stamina 
as you can see the shire is pretty much slowing down around here somewhere yeah it's slowing down right now and as you can see he's gonna buck me off in just a second um, overall I think he did very well for a level 4 and for such a big breed um, very good over there so we're gonna just take a look at the Shire at the Shire Ardens actually right now because the Shire already you know already stopped or tried to block me off so we're gonna take a look at the Ardens uh, and then we'll see how long he's still going as you can see he's, he's going pretty strong as well um, overall I think he did very well as well because the Ardens is look I tested the level 4 Missouri Fox Order and I think the Arden is just a couple, maybe a hundred meters away from where the level 4 or the Missouri Fox Order actually stopped, which was very good as you can see the Shire or the Ardens actually stopped right here, uh, which is very good. So round 2 is going to be speed, again we're going to put them to the same test, we're going to see which one actually comes out on top, again I had to slow it down because they're pretty much the same, um, but speed shouldn't change on the level on the bonding horses or the level of the bonding normally speed changes from the stirrups or the saddles so what you're gonna see you know normally they should have the same speed so normally they should come uh, or should finish together but we'll see what happens so as you can see i had to put it in slow-mo right here and i actually think this sh the ardens won a little bit but it was very difficult to say so you guys definitely um, so check it up and definitely see which one you think actually won because I think the audience won but again that's me um, So round three stable so we're gonna put them again to the same test We're gonna test them right now with some pistols We're gonna shoot them near their heads and we're gonna actually see which ones actually wins or which one actually stays calm for the most part um, Overall as you can see the first shot is pretty well you know, always the same the first two hooves go up, but I think the Shire or the Ardens actually definitely did great. But I think they're definitely better, better horses that did better. But keep in mind, the Ardens is a war horse, so I was kind of surprised by this, you know. As you can see, he's pretty, he's pretty much going crazy right now, so. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of, especially because it's a war horse. And if we take a look at the Turkmen, the Turkmen was better at a level 1 as well. So we're gonna see and wait what happens here. So as you can see, it's, it's actually going crazy right now, the uh, Ardens. And I think for a war horse, that isn't too great. Um, I definitely would like him to be more calmer, to be more stable, but as you can see, he's pretty much going crazy. So I think he, when we sat on him or when we tried to ride him, he definitely did a lot better job than when we we're just standing next to him. As you can see, he's pretty, he's pretty calm right now. You know, he doesn't move too much, and which is very good as well. Um, overall, I think he did very. He did not do great, because they're definitely better horses, I actually did that the last time. Um, I think they're better horses than the Ardens in stableness, but again, you know, a pretty cool horse as well. So, if you like the bigger horses, then definitely say pick one of those two, of the Ardens or the Shire, because the Shire is a pretty cool horse as well. So as you can see, the Shire is actually a draft type, and I think he did much better than the Ardens in the first round. Um, but then, here when we have... When I put some other shots, I can see him going pretty crazy again. Um, he tried to like jump a little bit, but as you can see right now, I think they're both on the same level of stableness. But again, the Ardens is a war type, so I will expect him to be a little bit better than the Shire. Um, but that, I thought that didn't do, but I think the Shire actually did maybe... Um, a little better or even the same um, as you can see the Shire is a little bit going crazy as well so we're gonna see what happens with uh, the rifle so as you can see he's also going crazy the Shire but I think for a draft type he definitely did very good now keep in mind those the boat actually are level 4 bonding so So now we're gonna sit on top of him. Just 
if you do not have a Shire, then I definitely recommend you guys have a Shire. Just the, it's amazing how big they are. If you compare it to like an Arabian or like a Kentucky Saddler or may, even a Morgan, I mean, they're just amazing in size. So as you can see, the piston round, he did very calm. Um, he didn't move too much, which I thought was very good. I think the Ardens did a little bit, was a little bit um, going crazy on the piston round, but I think he did very well. So now we're going to do the Crocodiles. Again, I was surprised by the Ardens. Uh, I was expecting a little bit better. But again, as you can see, the first contact, we actually were able to ride away. Which is very good, you know, the first contact is probably the most important because that's the time when you are right away or when you actually get bucked off, as you can see right here. Um, but again, I was able to ride the first time away, so, you know, I was kind of pushing it there, riding over the crocodile, which I'm going to try again. Um, but, as you can see right here, we are not able to get him close. Again, I think he did very well because, you know, first contact is very important. Because, you know, that's the time when you're able to ride away before you get bucked off. But as you can see right here, I get bucked off again. But again, I tried to come closer. I was actually able to ride away as well. Um, but I tried to come closer and I actually ended up dying right there. So now we're going to do the Shire. I think the Shire did very well actually to be a draft type. But again, first contact didn't do so great. Um, actually bucked me off right away, which isn't great. You know, it's actually pretty bad when you get bucked off right away. Because imagine there being a lot of crocodiles and you get bucked off and there's a crocodile in the water and he will kill you. So you know, that isn't that isn't too great. Um, so yeah, we're going to test him a little bit further. And I think he did very well this time. You know, we were able to ride away a little bit. But then again, he bucked me off. Um, so overall, I think the Shire did... You know, he did decent. There are definitely a lot other. There are actually a lot of other horses who don't let me ride this close to them. Um, overall, I think definitely the Ardens won this round. Just because the main fact, the first contact, he didn't buck me off the Ardens and the Shire did. Um, so overall, very. But keep in mind, the Ardens is a war horse. So the Ardens should win. You know, the Ardens should win in every aspect from stableness. Um, because the Shire is a draft type, which is also very, very good actually, but not as great as the Ardens. As you can see, he bucks me off again. So that's like four times that, or three times that he actually bucked me off. Um, and I actually, um, you know, I just wanted to do it one more time, but I actually think I'm dying here. So overall, I think the, the Shire did very well. Actually, yeah, I actually ended up dying um, once I did that again. So that wasn't too great. Um, so here we are again with the Shire testing the Wolves. So overall, I think the Shire, well, he did, he did pretty good with the wolves. Um, as you see, the wolves are here. And he, you know, I didn't do this. Um, he actually did that by himself. So I was able to ride away a little bit, but then again, he bucked me off right away, um, which I think didn't what was not actually that great. But overall, I think he did very well because I was able to ride away, which is very good. You know, again, first contact, very good from point of riding away but then he kind of was scared a lot actually and he uh, it, it, it wouldn't come back and I actually ended up dying right there so I just wanted to test it out again um, this is also another strawberry Rowan it's not the same strawberry Rowan it's another I actually bought a new one and as you can see it actually let me ride away pretty pretty fast um, I wasn't able to well I was able to stay there but you know I was able to ride away which is very good um, again, here you can see me riding away, which is very good. But you can see him definitely, you can see definitely on his face on how the way he rides that he's scared. Um, but then again, he bucks me off, um, which I didn't think was too great. But again, you know, the first contact I was able to ride away, so that was pretty good overall. So I think definitely, as you can see that he actually does that by himself. Uh, I didn't, I didn't do anything for that. So, you know. As you can see, the Ardens definitely did. He did decent. He didn't do too great, but he didn't also do too bad. You know, there's definitely a lot worse, or a lot of horses that are worse at stableness as the Ardens. But again, the Ardens should have a lot more stableness because it's a war type, 
and actually ended up dying right there. Um, so the Shire again, and I was actually very surprised by the Shire, how how good he did actually. As you can see, I just rode over two ho over two wolves, and he didn't even care. Um, as you can see, I was able to ride away very fast actually, and again <laughs> I rode over a wolf. I actually ended up um, I actually ended up killing him right there. So yeah. And then all of a sudden the wolves actually they uh they sort of disappeared a couple of seconds as you, as you can see i think they just were afraid and run away uh, because Arden has actually killed one of them and as you can see you know he runs away or actually there are no wolves anymore i was testing it out and i was trying to come back but as you can see i wasn't able to find any wolves anymore so i definitely think you know the Ardens did or the shire did very well the the wolves actually ran away um yeah I hope you enjoyed the video guys, if you did then definitely like and subscribe and I hope to see you all later, see you later guys.